Hey guys, how you doing today? My name is Mike and today we're gonna to be going over iguanas, all right? Um, what I have here is a baby blue iguana, also known as Xanthix, all right? Um, now, a couple little things a lot of people will do. Um, right now, what we like to recommend is we recommend using, ZooMed is one of our brands, but we use uh, Rep to Breezes, all right? Green cages like this are actually very good for them. They're able to climb on the sides. There's a lot of ventilation on them. Plus, when you have a little bit more height like this, it just allows you to really set it up more to its natural habitat. All right, now for these guys, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna have them having a little bit more height. These guys love to climb out in the wild. As you can see from these guys, nice little claws. They take these, they take those big old legs, those big old toes, and they're able to wrap around tree branches. They're able to wrap around trees, really get in deep. So they can, they're awesome, awesome climbers. Now, how I would have this thing set up. I would have it set up, a little bit of foliage, a little bit of bark at the bottom. What you're gonna wanna do though, you're gonna have plenty of branches inside. Now, we have fake plants. There's multiple reasons for that. Um, one, it helps with the decorations and all that, but really, realistically, what it does is it also allows, you know, when, because these are very high humidity animals. So what it allows is they're able to now have, when you spray down the cage, all that fake foliage that you have in there is actually gonna retain water and keep somewhat of a drip. So it's almost like it's still raining type deal. All right, um, now these guys, they do require heat and UVB, all right? So UVB is very, very important for these guys. So even though they're gonna be mainly, you know, vegetarians, they get special rays out in the wild from the sun. So when they're in captivity, we need to keep them with UVB like this. It helps them process the vitamins, calcium, things like that to really assure that your, your animal is going to be healthy on the inside, not just the outside. Now, we have these guys with, um, the UVB is going to be 5.0. The heat bulb that we're going to have on these guys for a smaller setup like this, we would start this guy off with a 75 watt heat bulb. All right, you want them to be kind of around like 95 degrees. That's going to be an ideal temperature for them. Um, simple, turn it on eight hours a day, eight, nine, 10 hours a day. They're very, very forgiving. So wake up, turn your lights on, go to bed, turn your lights off. Now the cool thing about these guys though is these guys actually do get very large. And being that they're vegetarians, a lot of people really like them. Now uh, these guys can actually get, you know, head to tail, six foot. I mean, they get they get to be monsters. I've seen them out in the wild. We're down here in South Florida. I've seen some out in the roads, you know, the six, the uh, reds, the greens. You can literally see these things being six feet, just climbing across trees, running across the roads. They're very, very big, majestic creatures, and that's why we like them. What I would recommend, if you haven't already, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Facebook. What you can also do is on our YouTube channel, where this is gonna be, you guys can hit the little bell, subscribe to us, you'll stay up to date on all of our latest content, so you're always staying up to date on what's going on with Underground.